There he is. Yep. All right. That's pretty good. Don't you come over there. There you go. <laughs> Fishing University with Charlie Ingram and Ray Brazier is brought to you by Honda Marine, Charger Boat, Strike King, Ray Marine, Jackson Kayak, TaylorMade, Cash and Rods, Tough Line, TH Marine, and Spro. Closed captioning provided by PowerPole, Swift, Silent, Secure. Today, Fishing University's on beautiful Chickamauga Lake. Now, folks, this lake's got the big ones in it an absolutely fantastic fishery. And last year, Tennessee state record was broken right here, over 15 pounds. Hopefully, we'll even break that again today on Fishing University. Our special guests today are John Cruz and Shannon Wheeler. Now, John is a crankbait guru, and he'll be fishing with Charlie, and he's got a new bait he's gonna show us in the Little John lineup. I can't wait to see it. Y'all watch, and let's see if we happen to break the state record. All right, Charlie and John. Corporate Cup Championship's fixing to start. The rules are the five biggest fish. When you catch a fish, you weigh it, record the weight, and release it immediately, okay? The only exception is can you believe it or not, folks, John Cruz has come out with another new crankbait and we've got to use this bait exclusively. Tell us about it, John. Well, this is the, the Little John XL. XL means extra large. Now, you take the original Little John, put it on steroids, that's what we're fishing <laughs> with today. So we're gonna catch steroid fish too, baby. That's right, well, we're on the right lake to, to catch these big steroid fish, so I'm anxious to see what happens. You better believe it, Chicka Michael, we, any, at any cast, we could catch a 10 pounder. So good luck to y'all guys. Thanks, good luck. What I'm doing is we're gonna see how far out. If you see my track line where I came down at first, I'm going back up it about probably six or seven feet out. Right there's some fish right there that just that you can see right here on both the side vision and the down vision. There he is, I got one too, John. Well mine might have come off. I don't know what he did or not. I can't tell either. Look what I caught, a darn drum. Unbelievable. I got me a giant spotted bass. That's all right, he's legal. We fixed away that sucker. That's right. 0 0.90. 0 0.90. Not exactly an XL. <laughs> I don't know, but we ain't through. We just starting, man. Are we just getting going. Spotted bass. That's one thing about Chickamauga. It's got small mouth spotted bass and large mouth. State record came from here is big, bunch of big old large mouth. We hope we get one of those to hit us today somewhere. There goes a nice one, right behind us, boys. I mean a hum doggy. There it is. That a boy. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it, we'll take it. We ain't gonna be particular to start with. Somebody asked me why I used the bag. I'm watching him freeze when you put him in there. 103, where's 105? 103, yeah, 105 right there. 105. Agree? Agree. Got mine right there. We're doing what they call long lining. And the, the thing about it is, you got a square bill here that probably on what, 12, 13 foot deep? Yeah, you can get it out there, you know, nine, nine or 10, you know, on a, on a regular cast. A real long cast, you probably get it down 11 or 12. But uh, here, long lining, I feel like we're getting it, you know, in high teens, you know, close to, close to 20 feet. Which you, which you can do, uh, but that just shows the versatility of this bait. We got 1.74 on that one there, Charlie. 1.63 on that one. And what we're doing is we're taking our trolling motor and we're casting this thing as far as we can. And I don't know what kind of line you're throwing, but I'm throwing 10 pound test, heavy core line by tough line. Hit by heavy core, it doesn't float. It's a braided line, but it doesn't float. So. 
I'm able, that's an eight pound diameter line, so I can get it down deeper even though it's 10 pound test because the, the line doesn't float. Like you said, it's, it's kind of a square bill type crankbait, but it's not a square bill. Uh, it's got that hard thump like a, like a square bill, uh, but it has that slow float just like a, like a deeper diver. Um, and it just has that, that vibration that's just really, really different. And we're reading it, and this is a different presentation than these fish have seen. You know, the FLW tournament was just here. These fish have seen a lot of different crankbaits, but I'll guarantee you, they hadn't seen anything like this. That's right. Smart, reliable, think smart, think fast, think Honda. Fishing is best. We needed an adventure that we couldn't have any other way. If you're a fisherman, you know what we're talking about. You work hard to catch your fish. TH Marine has two products to ensure your fish survive. The Oxygenator injects 100% pure oxygen into your live well. That increases fish survival by 35%. For the perfect combo, add G-Juice Live Well Treatment. It calms fish, stops bleeding, removes ammonia, and replaces slime coat. Get an Oxygenator and G-Juice, and keep your fish alive. I'm Dennis Tumlin with FishDayton.com, and let me tell you some of the things that makes our lake really, really great. Number one, we've got grass, and, and fishermen know that's what it takes. Number two, we have the Florida strand bass, and those conditions, when they mix together with good forage, we've got the perfect storm right here on Chickamauga Lake. We're consistently producing stringers of fish with five fish limits, well over 30 pounds, and, and have crossed 40 pound uh, limits before. We have a world-class fishery here full of, full of giant bass, and it's actually gotten to where a 10 pound bass don't really turn a whole lot of heads anymore. It takes a 12 pounder, 13 pounder before people really get excited and start talking about it. February of 2015, we broke a, a 60 year old state record right here on this lake with a 15 pound, three and a half ounce beast uh, that came here out of Chickamauga. At Fish Dayton, our goal is to be the number one host city in the United States. Uh, last year in 2014, we hosted over 34 organized events. Uh, with the keynote event being the inaugural Bass Fest, which was held right here in this point, at this park. You know, our goal is to be here and make sure your event is seamless. And uh, as a result of this fishing, our local college has, has added 20 uh, fishing scholarships. They build a fishing team uh, here at Bryan College, and, and uh, so a guy can actually attend college right here in Dayton, Tennessee, and, uh, and, and fish on a scholarship. So that's a, another byproduct of the great fishery we have. Check us out at fishdayton.com and uh, you can contact us through that and, and we're looking forward to seeing you soon. Ted, you got him? Yep. God almighty, that's a horse. Oh, he's barely hooked. Coming in hot. I don't see you. Oh, yeah, oh yes. Yeah, he's hooked. Oh, he come off. Oh. Man! Oh, man! Oh, Charlie man. and them would have cried. You know what? That's what I want to see. Oh, I knew when he come up we had trouble. Hey, you know, it's a pretty neat deal. Ray and them are up there fishing in that creek, fishing really shallow, and we're out here catching them 15, 20 foot deep. 
And this, I've never done this before. I knew I heard you guys on the Elite Series do it quite often. There they are right there. That's him right there. Turn around and get back. We're drifting left because of the wind. I tell you, electronics play a big key in that too, doing this kind of stuff, because you got to follow your track where you want to go, don't you? Right. See, you look on that unit there, you can see the track. Hey, John, what about your speed of retrieve? How fast are you pulling that bait? Put it, I'm pulling at a pretty good clip. I feel like, you know, these fish, they want it quick. They want it fast. Make them react to it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He's just swimming along with the bait. Was he really? Bo both sets of gamma cats has got him. Another spotted bass. A spot. There he is. Good? Need the net? No. Nah, I think so. Uh, yeah, let's get the net. Let's get the net. Well. Ready? All right. He's bigger than I thought he was, too. Yeah. I ought to have been a one there. Let's weigh that dude. Here's your bait. Let's go. Two, six, eight. Two, six, eight. All right, Charlie and John, it's halftime. Time to show us what you got. Well, we don't quite have a limit yet, but at least they're small. <laughs> You know, we got a lake here that's got a 15 pound two ounce that came out of it. Look what we're catching. Hey, it can change real quick. All you gotta do is get on the right place and it can happen real fast. Let me tell you something. If you had that new Spro bait that you built here at the same time of the year that that state record was caught here, 15 pounds two, you'd be catching some of the 15 twos too. Exactly. Let's see what you guys got. Well, we've got a limit. Well, we have, but now listen, my buddy has had two on and he had one that it was a big one. It don't count unless you get it to the, uh, it the, the end of it. don't make no difference how many you get on. It. That's that all hearsay. It ain't it ain't admissible, right. so don't right. even think about we it. We got pictures of some of it. Pictures? Yeah. yeah. You can't weigh in a picture. Well, well we know where they live, so we're headed that way. Yeah. I think what Ray's hitting on is it can it can change real quick on yeah. this lake yeah, in in a hurry. That's and right. we're not talking one fish, we're talking two or three or four. So so uh, I think it's halftime, but we both got a lot of fishing to do. Absolutely. And, and the little bait, I mean, here we are in 95 degree weather catching fish on a square bell crankbait. Now, unbelievable. unbelievable. It, and it's not, it's not just a regular square bell crankbait. That <laughs> sucker, right. get, he gets on down there. <laughs> it will. It will. All right, good luck to y'all. Good Thanks. luck to y'all. One of the best kept secrets for the past 40 years has been Charger boats, now available to all serious fishermen. What separates Charger from the rest of the field is a boat building family that truly cares for quality and customer satisfaction. Charger has a great lineup of boats from the affordable 186 to the 797, the ultimate tournament machine. From our family to yours, put in with the best. For a free catalog and dealer nearest you, call 1-800-874-7513 or visit us at chargerboats.com. For 100 plus years, boaters all over the world rely upon TaylorMade to protect their investment. So tap into the expertise and discover the new innovative product line for bass boats. Starting with a redesigned fender warranted for life, a fishing marker that won't crack or chip, and a silver space age boat cover that's easy on the wallet. Check us out on the web at tailormadeproducts.com or call 800-628-5188. When you fish competitively for a living, you need sonar you can trust. I switched to Raymarine Chirp Sonar to give me incredible underwater vision. I switched to Raymarine Chirp Sonar to see structure so sharp and fish targets so clear it's like reality. So don't lose faith in your sonar again. Make the switch to Chirp and Raymarine Visionality and see the real world below.
These are my Strike King S11s. Get your own. All of us are wanting to know more about propellers. I get asked all the time about ventilation and what is ventilation and what do I do to make my boat perform better. With me today, I have Mr. Steve Powers, a prop expert and owner of PowerTech Props in Shreveport, Louisiana. So Steve, can you help answer the question? Well, I'll try, Ray. You know, the ventilation process is where we intentionally introduce airflow around the propeller to loosen the tension on the blades and make the propeller rev up quicker. There's two ways of doing this. One is by the installation of these ventilation holes that you can see here. There can be one or more of these big ventilation holes and they can be small or large. Sometimes they'll be adjusted with a plastic right. uh, fitting that lets them adjust the diameter so you can tune in the amount of ventilation you get. The other option is, is that sometimes we use a smaller hub on the propeller to introduce airflow around it so the exhaust is no longer sealed and it's bypassing exhaust over the blade in what we call an over and through hub exhaust okay. uh, propeller system. And all of this allows for that airflow to come back and hit the blades and the blade is no longer fully loaded. So with a partially loaded blade, it spins up quicker, and as soon as it starts to grab water, your acceleration hits and you're launched. All right. That should help you with knowing how to ventilate your prop. Now, as Steve says, most of you are familiar with the vent holes, so you adjust the amount of exhaust coming out to tune to your boat and your application. Oh man, that's a pretty good one. It is a nice one. This is a right brazier. Killer right here, boys. Stick them in here. Stick them in here. Get them in here. Yep, 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 yep. That'll do it. Thank you, buddy. Good job. Get him on the scales. Get another one. There you one. go. 2.20. There he is. Johnny. All right. Finally. That's 185 right there. 185. And it is a dream to be able to fish, you know. I, and I think. Um, some of you sitting in this room will probably be taking my place before too many more years. And, and just remember that the camera is always on you. People are watching you. What you're doing is you're representing, and you're not going to make any money getting, that, getting in any squabbles with people out there. You're representing those people that own that shirt, like Bryan College. That's who you're representing. So the guys that are professionals, they act like professionals. And, and then those companies are proud to have you represent their products. We work, we've work. we worked for corporate Honda for 15 years, Charlie and I have. This is a top 25 company in the world. The first thing they're gonna look at if you walk in the door is sponsorship. They don't care how many fish you caught. They don't care how many tournaments you won. First thing they're gonna look at is your education and your extracurricular activities, and the way you behave, the way you present yourself. I feel like you need to be extremely determined in whatever you're setting your, your sights on in order to be successful at it. You better be determined. You better be willing to take some failures along the way because they're going to happen. Nobody's ever successful every time as soon as you start doing something. It doesn't happen. You just need to be determined to be successful at whatever you do. Don't let anybody tell you that you, that you can't be successful at something. If, if the way that you're doing it doesn't work, that just means you got to figure out a better way to do it or a different way to do it. Uh, I'm always a computer science major. Most of you know me pretty well. But uh, while I might not have that, in my, I've got, always got that in my pocket now. I can always fall back on it. No matter what happens, fishing or business related, I've got that degree I can fall back on. If I have shoulder surgery and I can't fish anymore, 
whatever it may be, I've always got that to fall back on. I'm not just out there stranded. Money is not the most important commodity in your lifestyles. Right now, it looks like it is, and, and people who are successful give an aura about them that, that money is the key. Time is the key. So making those quality decisions and investing your time appropriately is what's going to make you successful and help you earn the money and earn the respect within the different networks of the business to where you're going to grow and be successful. Stay tuned to Fishing University and see Ray County Fishermen on the Outdoor Channel. Fishing University with Charlie Ingram and Ray Brazier is brought to you by Honda Marine, Charger Boat, Strike King, Ray Marine, Jackson Kayak, TaylorMade, Cash and Rods, Tough Line, TH Marine, and Spro. Closed captioning provided by PowerPole, swift, silent, secure. John Cruz, Spro professional angler here, and I have got the Spro, Little John, and Fat John lineup. And you might ask, well, what are you gonna come out with next? This is it right here. It's the Spro Little John XL70. Now this is a big, flat-sided crankbait. And I was I found myself out there fishing and wanting a bigger profile bait with a harder thump, bigger vibration, try to catch those bigger fish, but I wanted something that would get down deeper than say a square bill crankbait would run. So what we did is we took the original Little John, made it larger, basically put it on steroids, uh, put the, a bigger uh, computer chip bill in it. Uh, it's got the same weight transfer system in it, and it's also uh, slow floating just like the rest of the Little Johns. You get it down there to that eight, nine foot range on 12 pound test uh, on, on a, just a regular cast and you can cover a lot of water. And like I said, it's got that hard vibration and when you hit cover or you, you get where you think a fish might be, you can stop it, twitch it just a little bit and that bait will just suspend right in the strike zone just for a second long enough for those fish to get it. And that's how I've been catching a lot of the fish uh, on this bait is stopping it, giving it a little twitch, letting it, letting it kind of dance around, leaving it in the strike zone, they'll come and get it. So this bait fits in really well with the rest of the Spro lineup. The original Little John, that's what started it all. Uh, and then we've got the, the Little John MD, and then we've got the Little John DD to the Little John Baby DD, the, the Fat John and the Baby Fat John. This is the Spro Little John XL, and you can see how it fits in to the whole Spro Little John Fat John lineup. You hung down again. Look, don't y'all look how strong that rod is. <laughs> what kind of rod is that? That's the Cash and DD. DD what does DD stand for? Deep diving crankbaits. There he is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'll get to that. Yeah, man. Yes, man. Oh, here he comes. Oh, stay shit. down, boy. He just got him on one hook. Golly. Yes. That's a big old fish. Eat that big cruise missile throw bait. Look at him coming up here, John. Got it. Oh, Sniff, that's good. One. I got it. 381, 381, it's a nice upgrade right there. Hey, you gotta get you some of those baits right there. I promise you it'll catch them. All right, Charlie and John, this winds up the Spro Corporate Cup Championship. Let's see what you got. This is what we were able to, to catch out there on the lake. Show them what you got. Let's see what you got. This is what we have. Oh, Lord. Hey, you, we're going to have to oh, let Lord. Ray bring these ringers in here on us, you know. Huh? That's a bad yeah. deal. Come on now. I'm telling you. Cam camera got that? Bring yeah. up bringing them ringers in. That's a bad yeah. deal. You get to carry this home and put in your office. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Pretty neat, huh? But guys, I'll tell you, in all honesty, it's hot. And I, and I know the fish are 30 foot deep and to be able to catch anything. It's a testimony to that bait, you know it? You know, I, I, I learned a, a lot. Every time I do these shows, I learn a lot. But this one was very interesting because we had the FLW tournament here last week, 
the lake got absolutely pounded. Anything that was obvious got beat on. So it's not like this is a fresh lake. This is not, this, this no lake means. has been beat on. It is into a pulp. And you guys fished it shallow. We fished it deeper. We both caught limits. We both caught a few decent fish. Right. We just we just never got any of those giants that, that, that this lake is known for. But it lets you know that you can take that crankbait and you can go anywhere and you can go behind people and you can still catch fish. That's absolutely. It's a different a different action than I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like that. But we want to thank John for building these great baits. I mean, from the first one he's built, I don't know how many he's built now. We're up to, uh, is that up to seven? Seven. He's built seven different models of crankbaits. They'll all catch fish. Just, you got to figure out which type water you want to catch them in. They'll all catch them. It doesn't make any difference. If you're thinking about going fishing on a family vacation, you ought to visit Lake Chickamauga at Dayton, Tennessee. It's awesome. Make sure you bring some of those pro crankbaits with you. And we look forward to seeing you right here next week on Fishing University. Look at that. Kitty. That thing catch him catfish, buddy. <laughs> Holy smoke. You didn't tell me he was going to catch catfish.